Uh, so um, we're going to be talking about design patterns for a few days. And I wanted to, most of you are probably thinking of majoring or minoring in computer science in college. And I certainly would encourage that given the environment. There are a few of you here, I'm guessing four or five of you maybe, who already know that you're going to be majoring in computer science in college and that computer science is going to be a really large part of your work life. And I want to take a couple of minutes to talk to those folks in particular. So if you are really serious about pursuing computer science, even above and beyond what you're learning with me here and you want to go faster and faster, I would recommend you get this book. And I'm going to explain this book to you in a minute, but it's called Head, for, uh, Head First Design Patterns. I've written the title and the authors on this board over here. It's the authors are uh, Freeman and Robson. And what this book does is it goes through probably a dozen or so design patterns that are extremely useful. What's a design pattern? A design pattern is an algorithm that can be applied in various situations. So you learn the algorithm once, and then it's your job using your brain when you come across some new different situation, say, oh, you know what, I could apply algorithm number three, which I learned in this book, and I can apply it to this situation. Now, we don't have enough time this year to go through all the algorithms in this book. I wish we did, because this is a data structures course and not really an algorithm course. But we'll talk about, I think, two or three of the patterns that are in here. Now, in addition to this book, there is an entire channel on YouTube that is dedicated to going through this book and uh, fleshing out each of these algorithms one at a time. That's how important these algorithms are. Uh, so, Mr. Um, this guy's name is uh, Christopher, and he's got this channel here. You can see it here where he's going through all the different patterns that are in that book. And even if you can't afford the book, because the book is expensive, I think it's like $70, $80, or something like that. If you can't afford the book, you should still uh, subscribe to this channel that's going through the patterns and at least look at the videos. Uh, best case scenario would be to have the book and follow the videos. Uh, but he goes through this book and describes each pattern, all the practical implications, what he likes and doesn't like, does an unbelievably good job. And each time you learn one of these patterns, you make yourself more valuable, not only to your potential employer, but just to your own base of knowledge as a programmer. This book has been around for, for a long time, but suddenly it's caught fire last few years, and this is like a really hot book in Silicon Valley right now for programmers. Uh, I, I hardly recommend it and the stuff that's in there. So once again, kind of think about that. We're going to go through some of it today. But try to understand we're only going to scratch the surface in this class. Anybody have any questions about that?